Hi, I'm Ashley, and I bought a shed that we are turning into a she shed, aka my dream craft room, and this series is the process of how we did that from start to finish, so I hope you'll follow along for the final reveal. Hey friends, this one's going to be a quick one. So little she shed update, this video is about running the electricity from the shed to the house. I was not here for this. Most of the day I was running errands, so I did get a few pictures. I got a few videos, but not a lot of details about it. I actually wish I was there. I would have liked to have seen that entire process. I seen most of it, but um, I didn't actually see any of the wire being ran or anything because I had to run to Lowe's and the closest Lowe's to me is 40 minutes away. And then once I got back from there, I had ended up having to make two more trips to town. So I didn't get to see, you know, a lot of things, but we ran conduit from the shed to the house and went down into the crawl space of the house and then up into our laundry room, which is where the breaker box in the house is at. Um, and then, you know, it's ran out into the shed where the breaker box is in the shed. So he got the breaker box set up. They dug the ditch, got the conduit in, and he also ran all of the um, wire for the plugins and the recess lighting at the time it wasn't fully set up he had to come back another day to get the wire um, ran in through that conduit which you guys that was the biggest pain in the butt I'll talk about it in just a second but holy cow that was rough so there you can see the conduit coming up into the shed and we'll walk in and you guys can see the breaker box and stuff look at my beautiful door my my tarp of a door um you guys will see the door here in a second but the next video will get the door installed it's here it's just not not in yet but there's the breaker box it wasn't completely set up whenever i did this video um we ended up having to do this in two days i think i think it was two days um usually this process can be done in just a few hours but there was some other things that we didn't have you know what's funny is we actually sat down and um me and Sammy Joe, my dad and everybody, like we were all like, here's what we got to get. We made this list. I thought I had everything. And then there were some things that I forgot, which is why I was making <laughs> the trips everywhere. But here you can see he's got the wire run um, up on the ceilings, which is what operates the recess lighting. He's got the plugins all set. Now, one thing I was very adamant about whenever I decided to do this is that I had to have a lot of plugins. I... It drives me crazy whenever I need to plug in something and I don't have a cord that's long enough or I have to go get an extension cord or I have seven things I already need. Like, it's just a mess. So I said, one of the things that I have to have is plenty of plugins. I have a couple of double plugins in here and the rest of them are single, but I do have plenty. At least I'm hoping it's plenty. The one that I wanted to do that I, I didn't end up doing, and I wish I would have, is put a plug-in in the floor where the crafting table is going to go oh look at those leopard print pjs got those at walmart by the way and they're super comfy anyways i wanted to put an outlet in the floor and we didn't do that um it's not too late right now this video is um this process here that we did it's been a few weeks since we did this so there's still time to do it we just haven't done it yet so i don't know if we're going to or what but the electric is kind of set up and then he had to come back I don't remember if we had something going on or, or whatever, but he come back the next day and we had to actually run the electric through the conduit. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it was raining. We were both muddy and soaking wet. Not soaked. That was a little dramatic. <laughs> um, we were both muddy though, and we did get wet from the rain trying to run the electric wire through the conduit. So that was, that was awful. The wire was wet. Um, so it was hard to hold on to. It was just a mess. And it, we had to go through two elbows, like two curves in the conduit. And Sammy ended up here having to dig it out. And then he took a grinder and cut the conduit so we could get the wire fed through it. And then he had to seal it back together. So, I mean, it was a pain in the butt that day, but once he got that ran, then he actually like hooked up the electric and he did run one plug in that was like live um the rest of them were all shut off so we couldn't you know electrocute ourselves um but one plug-in he did run it to where we could actually use it so that was nice so we didn't have to um run electric or extension cords into the house or anything or get a generator or whatever and set it up so we could run our power tools
And then here's a quick little video. You can see the panel. This panel's junk. I hate it. It is so hard to open. Ugh, drives me crazy. But, boom. You guys seen the lights turn on? Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. I couldn't wait to get the windows in. Like, it's going to have so much natural light. And then here, I'll show you guys the, the plug-in that we have that lets us operate our power tools in a fan. <laughs> Okay, friends, I told you this was going to be a quick one, but the electric is ran. We only need to now run it for the ceiling fan and two outdoor plugins. Other than that, it's set up and ready for us to actually hook up the plugins and light switches and stuff like that. So that's it for this video. You guys can check out the playlist on the She Shed over on my YouTube channel and follow along with this build out.